Uh, pleased with his comeback at uh, Kempton, which he, it was, a, it was a nice race, nice day out for him. Worked well here. Look, it's a contentious race as ever. And you put that kind of race on for that kind of money. There are a lot of really classy, tough horses there. In fact, he does handle soft side, um, and it will be that. It won't dry out, um, but it'll be perfectly raceable. And you no, know, um, you know, we're just we're just quite quietly confident in the horse. You know, I, I like the horse a lot. I think he's getting quicker, um, and he seems to be improving all the time. She's a she's a versatile filly ground wise. You know, when when she won the Royal Whip at the Curra, that was on soft ground, and equally she can run and go up to firm. So versatility is the key with her. Um, I'm just delighted the way he's progressed um, every step of the way, really. And uh, you know, he's been very convincing, albeit this is a, a, another step up. Um, and, and we're very much respectful of the opposition, but uh, we're going there with a with a happy feel. I'm actually kind of bowled over by, by how fresh she's been since she came back. She went all the way to Paris. Um, what, what you know, had is what you, what you say looked like a tough race, um, but she barely, barely blew afterwards. She lost eight kilos in the whole thing, which I mean, they can lose more than that racing at Newmarket and coming home to Newmarket. So she's taken it incredibly well. She's squealing, she's at up all the way, and um, we're working towards running on Saturday. Well, it's clear she's improved as the year's gone on, and She's battle hard and now I don't think a mile and a half will be hold any fears. It's been a, uh, a great trip with her and hopefully we can finish it off on Saturday. You know, we freshened him up and uh, I couldn't really be more pleased with him. Um, we took him to Linkfield about 10 days ago just for a little spin around there, six furlongs, which um, Paul was very happy with it. With. So um, yeah, we, we're going there, obviously pretty confident. Yeah, I mean, he's, he really seems to have thrived since Haydock. Um, you know, I really could not be more pleased the way he looks, and uh, he did a great bit of work uh, la last week. He, he could run a really big race on Saturday. I think, personally, he's the horse that they all have to beat. I think he's, um, he's getting pretty battled hard on himself, certainly after the Curry the other day. Um, you know, I think he's... he's He's in really good shape, looking at him a couple of days ago before I come up here, I haven't seen him look so well all year, um, so I'm, I'm pretty confident with him. Oh, I think de oh, he's definitely as good as ever, but you know, he just takes a bit of knowing and um, Louis Stewart will ride him again um, uh, at Ascot and you know, I think he gets on with him very well. Uh, we don't always have a going day I think that's the top and bottom of it and we didn't have a going day on, on, on the Cambridge this year, but you know, he's won two Cambridges and um, and an awful lot of prize money.